Today we're going to do a problem uh, from kinematics that involves two objects. One object is dropped from the top of a cliff, which means its initial velocity is zero. And at the same time, another object is thrown up from the bottom of the cliff, let's say at 24 meter per second. And so as the two objects, one coming down and the other going up, they're going to meet at, at a certain height. And let's say that they meet part way, which means halfway. We got to find out at what time and at what height they meet. We know that both of them have traveled half the distance, but you got to find out the exact height at which they meet and the time at which they meet. And we're going to use the equations of kinematics to do just that. So let's All go. Right. So here is uh, smart problem number five. In this series of, I don't know, maybe 100 problems, I'll try to keep at least, uh, more, let's say, one problem coming every day. And this is also on projectiles. And uh, I should have said number five, so let me change that to number five now. So smart problems number five. And this, uh, there is a ball drop from the top of a 500 meter high cliff. And at the same time from the bottom of the cliff, nether uh, not a ball, but a stone is thrown up at 24 meter per second. And so the ball is dropped from here, and the ball, uh, the stone is thrown up from here at 24 meter per second. And the stone and the ball collide part way up. We do not know where they collide. And how far above the base of the cliff does this happen? So we got to find this distance. We could find this, and this would be just 50 minus whatever the top distance is. Now, for the ball top, so let's take this as y, and the other distance is 50 minus y, because if this is y, and uh, the total is 50 meters, so this one should be 50 minus y. Okay, for the ball that is dropped, the initial velocity is zero and it's falling at 9.8 meter per second squared so it's speeding up and we can use y is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared to find its displacement the initial velocity is zero therefore this whole term becomes zero you have that as equation number one. Now, when we start thinking about the stone that is thrown up, uh, what is the initial velocity? Is it zero? No, it's not. It's 24 meter per second, which is given. And since it's going up against gravity, it is slowing down. Therefore, its acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second squared and it also travels for the same amount of time t seconds uh, by the time both of them meet each other so initial velocity is 24 meter per second a is minus 9.8 meter per second squared and we can use the same equation as before Now in this case, y is the displacement, which is 50 minus y. Remember that this y is just a representation, but in actual case, it's 50 minus y. I hope you're not confused with that. So it's 24t minus 1 half 9.8t squared. So that's equation number 2. Now we can substitute for y into equation 2. 
So in place of this y, we're going to substitute 1 half 9.8 t squared, okay? It's 50 minus y, so that's why the minus. And on the right side, you have 24 t minus 1 half 9.8 t squared. So those two cancel out, the terms can be cancelled out. And then you can solve for t to get it as 50 divided by 24 actually 50.0 divided by 24.0 uh, which is 2.08 seconds and once we find the time we can find y just by substituting into equation 1 and that is 1 half times 9.8 times 2.08 squared which gives us 21.2 meter and therefore the distance from the cliff is 50 from the bottom of the cliff I mean it's 50 minus 21.2 which is 28.8 meters and I hope you enjoyed and really understood this problem thank you